So very very good morning to all of you. I am Sridhima Bhartia, and today is your first class on the chapter seven, which is advanced tax, tax deduction at source, and tax collection at source. So please settle in, and also if you have any doubts from the previous session, you may ask. So how many of you actually know uh, see this particular chapter is divided into three parts basically advanced tax tds tca but how many of you actually know or have a bit or a fair idea of what tds is and what tca is or what advanced tax is or have heard about it hello guys Very good morning, Himlata, Swati, Ashwini, Shreyas. Very good morning, Sakshi, Mamta, Sheel, Hardik, Monica, Parth, Mukhe, Mukteshwar, Sri, Neha, Ajay, Madhav. So good to see you all active at early morning. Very good, Komal, Kiran, Akif. So, no doubt, nahi hai from the previous session. deduction the deductions bahut 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 zaruri hai they are extremely important from exam perspective and otherwise also so please go through them revise them okay very good divya tds uh, someone has said that uh, tds salary se deduct hota hai tds is paid on quarterly basis okay good Advance tax is paid by assessment due by very good. Advance means paid in advance. So before thirty first March, TDS TC is quarter wise. Okay, Shabash, very nice. Why I'm asking because the when you start uh, when you have that knowledge today and once we complete this chapter, I really want to yes you to say that yes, ma'am, we have learned something new. Yes, ma'am, we have learned something. nice so no doubt from the previous session chalo great so now let's understand this particular chapter advanced tax tts and tcs but uh, before that we'll give good 5 10 minutes to understand certain concepts so are you guys ready chalo This is fine, you know. Hmm. So, as you said correctly, that okay, TDS is there, TCS is there, and ma'am, we do have a fair idea about all these things, and I agree. But now let's understand a few things from an assessee. Assessee, क्या होता है? The taxpayer in common balance to tell you, ठीक है? He has to pay tax. There is a concept of previous year and there is a concept of assessment year. Previous year is the financial year in which you earn the income, correct? So, जो मैंने income I am earning in the year twenty three twenty four, I will assess it to tax in the assessment year twenty four twenty five, correct? Absolutely correct. कोई doubt ही नहीं है because once the year is over, now I will assess what was my income, what is the tax liability on it, and then I file the ITR file the ITR as an SSC, no problem. But listen to one thing: government till the main source revenue is tax. Income tax is also one of the source of it. But government, who क्या करना पड़ेगा? Government has to wait for an entire one year to get the revenue. कि अच्छा ठीक है. Previous year खत्म होगा. When the previous year gets over, then the SSC you will have a bit of a Uh, before that, he will deposit the tax, and sometimes the due date goes to thirty fifth November in order to say he is correct. So government said, "Ki why not have a mechanism whereby we can get early recovery of tax? Number one, number two, one more point, pain point was there that where how can the government ensure that what Sesi is telling us is the true and fair information, as in." 
रिटर्न इज वॉट रिटर्न इज अ स्टेटमेंट विच एन एस एस फाइल्स टेलिंग के येस दिस इज माई इनकम फ्रॉम सो एंड सो हेड करेक्ट एंड दिस इज वॉट माई टैक्स लाइबिलिटी इज बट हाउ कैन वी एंश्योर दैट the transactions or the income which he's showing is true and fair so they started with the mechanism of tds tcs with the mechanism of tds tcs where by the other person is giving information about what income or what transaction has been done by the assessee and that is done by taking certain amount of tax from him we'll come in detail so the problem is still clear two problems are one was taxes timely and government go and another was information should come from another source also so that they can verify that whether what assessee has told is correct or not with these two things mechanism they introduced three concepts not all of them together over the period first concept is called tax deduction at source i know your module says advanced tax forms but i'll say tax deduction at source second concept is tax collection at source and another concept is advanced tax so advanced tax is a tax which assessee pay as you guys all told me assessee pay in advance that is in the previous year itself on estimation basis अभी इस लेवल पे इस पॉइंट पे वील अंडरस्टैंड ओनली दिस मच दैट एडवांस टैक्स इज अ टैक्स विच एस एस सी पेज इन एडवांस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एस्टिमेशन दैट ओके क्यों इन द प्रीवियस ईयर इट सेल्फ एज इन इन वेन एंड हाउ ही इज अर्निंग द इनकम एट दैट टाइम इट सेल्फ और एस्टिमेशन बेसिस ही पेज द टैक्स फॉर द प्रीवियस ईयर सो दैट इज वाई इट्स कॉल एडवांस टैक्स बिकॉज वाई इट्स कॉल एडवांस बिकॉज इन जनरल द असेसमेंट कम्स इन असेसमेंट यूर बट ह्योर यू आर मेकिंग एन एस्टिमेशन इन द प्रीवियस इन सेल्फ दैट्स वॉट इट्स कॉल एडवांस टैक्स दिस इज डन बाय एस एस इन सेल्फ बट चलो इससे ये वाला प्रॉब्लम तो टू एन एक्सटेंट रिकवर हो गया दैट एस एस सी वुड गिव द टैक्स इन द प्रीवियस इट सेल्फ एंड द गवर्नमेंट डज नॉट हैव टू वेट फॉर द इंटायर ईयर फॉर द टैक्स टू कम बट स्टिल हाउ गवर्नमेंट शुड वेरीफाई द इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्सेट्रा फॉर दैट they came up with two other concepts for recovery of tax mechanism which was called tax deduction at source and tax collection at source tax deduction at source majorly takes up incomes of assessee and the source kyunki every income has a source every income has a source if you are generating an income through rent then your source is the tenant if you are generating income through salary then your source is employer if you are generating income through interest your source can be bank Okay, so every income has a source. Let's put a liability on the source to recover tax. Is it what will happen? We will get tax also, and we'll get the information also that you, as an SSE, have earned this income. Correct. Right? Similarly, tax collection at source covers certain transactions. I'll not say the word income. Certain transactions whereby by deducting tax, the government gets to know yes, this financial transaction is happening in the economy. So with that mechanism. they came up with the solution of getting tax also timely getting information also timely and verified okay so now the first two classes of the three classes of this chapter is majorly reducted to this portion which is called like tax deduction at source then we'll do tax collection at source and then we'll do advanced tax okay so one by one we'll push forward abhi ke liye the 10 minutes intro was that there are three things for recovery of tax and getting the information but these two things are not done by the ssc these two things are done by the other person on behalf of the ssc now we go deep into understanding first mechanism which is tax deduction at source what is tds the answer so now guys अच्छा मैंने असेसमेंट ये गलत लिखा है ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर लिख दिया सॉरी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके नाउ कमिंग टू दिक मैकेज टू मेक अ पेमेंट टू वाई आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट इन स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ सेक्शन लेट्स डिस्कस इट इन जनरल एक्स मेकिंग अ पेमेंट टू वाई सपोज एक्स टू प्रोफेशनल सर्विसेस फ्रॉम वाई 
Pogba Pogba is a advocate he gave professional services to x and x has now to make a payment of 1 lakh now if in such a payment if on such a payment tds is there if on such a payment tds is there अब वो कैसे पता चलेगा देर आर डिफरेंट सेक्शन विच कवर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेमेंट विच टेल वेदर दिस पेमेंट वुड अट्रैक्ट टी डी एस और नॉट इफ दैट पेमेंट डज नॉट अट्रैक्ट टी डी एस इट इज आउट ऑफ द स्कोप ऑफ टी डी एस इफ दैट पेमेंट अट्रैक्ट टी डी एस इट इज विद इन द स्कोप ऑफ टी डी एस एंड देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सेक्शन विच कवर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेमेंट सो नाउ सपोज एक्स हैज टू मेक अ पेमेंट टू वन लैक एंड दैट इज टैक्स डिडक्टेबल द टी डी एस हैजू बी डिडक्टेड एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट X would deduct the TDS at the rate of ten percent, which is one lakh minus ten thousand and ninety thousand. So X will make a payment to Y for ninety thousand. But Y would go crazy that Baba, my bill was for one lakh, and you are giving me only ninety thousand. Where is my remaining ten thousand? So this ten thousand, which X has deducted from the total payment of Y, is deposited. to the government on behalf of y or deposited to the government in account of y deposited to the government in account of y so ab isse kya hua government got to know that yes y has generated who is my assessee in this case has generated an income of 1 lakh y has got an income of 1 lakh government got to know and also government got some portion of tax also on this income so this happens as and when the income is generated or earned or credited or the money flows now if i talk from the accounting in the perspective for x uska kharcha kitna hua hai 1 lakh ka 10000 ka or 90000 ka 1 lakh 10000 ka for x what is an expense the expense is definitely 1 lakh If I talk about from the books of X, how will he make an entry? He will make an entry as professional payment account or professional account or professional services account debit because the kharcha is of one lakh. Correct. To X account, oh sorry, to Y account, ninety thousand. And to TDS payable account because this TDS he has to pay to the government for Y to TDS payable account ten thousand. And ultimately, so the liability for Y has only been created for ninety thousand, but TDS has liability is also created for ten thousand. And ultimately, when he will pay this TDS to government, he will make a TDS payable account debit to bank. Ten, ten, and when he will make a payment to Y, so Y account debit to bank. So ultimately, guys, if you see the cash outflow from X account is one lakh only, ten thousand to the government and ninety thousand to Y. Had TDS would not have been there, then directly one lakh would have been paid to Y. But since TDS is applicable on such payment. That's why ninety thousand is going to Y and ten thousand is going to the government in the account of Y. Government को पता चलेगा that this ten thousand का tax is is or does belong to Y. Got it? Y की book में भी guys, Y की book के में भी what is the income? What is the income in Y's books of account? One lakh or ninety thousand? One lakh only. So Y would also say X account debit ninety thousand TDS receivable or TDS paid to government account debit ten thousand. You can use the nomenclature can differ. Add to income account which is my professional receipts account that would be one lakh. That would be one lakh. Make sense? And when money comes from X, it would be simple bank account debit to X account. 
90,000. But maybe asset side, pe, TDS receivable would be there for 10,000. How would that be set off? Which question is in your mind? Ma'am, okay, government ko kaise pata chalega that this TDS belongs to or the tax which is deducted at source? Because source was who? Source was X. Who deducted from the payment which he had to make a certain portion and this deduction is called withholding tax. You can say sometimes or some in real it's called tax deducted at source. The source deducted this 10,000 as tax. Now the question comes, okay, how will government get to know that this 10,000 which has been deducted belongs to Y? So that is a proper mechanism goes through. You can understand that mechanism. So I mean, this is that X will deduct tax at stage one. Stage one would be deducting tax. That means keeping an amount aside to pay to the government. Correct? That means keeping an amount aside to pay to the government. Second stage would be depositing that tax. Depositing the tax. That means the tax which has been kept aside now has to be given to the government, which is this entry, TDS payable account to bank. Third, and deposit ke time pe just one chalan go, then you tell ke okay, I have TDS of 10,000. That's it. Third, X has to do is to file the return. To file the return. Which return? Income tax return. No, no, no. TDS return. To file the TDS return. Return ka matlab kya is wapis dena nahi hota. Return means a statement, a TDS statement. The TDS statement telling that the tax which I deposited out of this 10,000 belongs to Y. Now, how will you know why 10,000 belongs to Mr. Y? No. Y is a PAN. Because PAN is an identification number for each SSE. Correct? So, he will tell that this 10,000 belongs to so and so PAN. Correct? So, X ke paas kya hona chahi? Y ka pan. X should have Y ka pan so that he can file the same in the TDS return. Correct? And then only government would know na, that this pan number has generated an income of so and so amount. Sorted. Now, Y also has to have a surety na. Ki you have deducted my tax. How will I get to know that you have deposited to the government? How will I get to know that you have deposited to the government? So, X has to issue a TDS certificate. It could say banaya a certificate nahi hai. It is not handwritten certificate. It's a certificate which is generated after 15 days once the return is filed. That yes, I deducted your tax. I deposited to the government. This certificate is your proof. So, TDS certificate. Ye sara kam kon karega? Deduction, deposit, return, certificate. X. Who in this case, my friend is not an SSE for TDS perspective. We call him deductor or payer. Okay, he was the person who had to deduct the tax or who was making the payment. So he will be called as deductor. And SSE just ka income generate hua, that person is why. But from tax deduction or tax deduction at source perspective, we will call this guy deductee. So just the TDS Carter, the one who deduct the tax is called deductor. The ones who persons whose tax is deducted is called the deductee or the pay. Why pay or pay? Because he had to make the payment, so that's why he's a payer. Why had to receive the payment? That's why he's a pay. So the terms have to be uh, set in your mind that yes, what is deductor, what is payer, what is deductee, what is pay. Now Coming back to the story of X. X ke paas kitta sara kama aagya? X now, apart from his own income, he has to do TDS compliances. Can I say this is TDS compliances? So many of TDS com compliance matla, ye sari cheeze follow karna hai. He has to follow so much. Deduct tax, deposit tax, file the return, file the certificate. And this is not for his own income. This is for the tax which he has deducted. This is for the tax which he has deducted. 
And why can be one type of payment? He might be making payment to 10 different individuals or 100 different individuals or 1,000 different persons. He might have to reduct tax for each type of payment if it is if it is covered under the tedious mechanism. So he has a lot of burden. But government would get confused because government हम सबको हमारे identification number से जानते हैं. Government gets to know through our identification number what is who or by the PAN number, correct? X is also an SSE in his world. X is also earning income in his world. X, so whatever income is generated by X, someone else would be deducting tax. So this confusion does not happen by a deductor and SSE being the same person. So the government said that every person who has to do TDS, TCS compliance, he is a compliance. That is, once he comes into the shoes of deductor, assessee is a person who is generating the income, correct? Okay? But once a person comes into the shoes of deductor, once a person is playing the role of TDS or TCS, or once a person is playing the role of deductor or collector, he has to obtain a unique identification number for TDS compliances. For TDS compliances. And that number is called TAN, Tax Deduction and Collection Account Number. And so for all the TDS related compliances and even TCS related compliances, a person, I will not use the word SSE, a person has to obtain TAN so that all these TDS compliances can be done through a separate account of TAN. So can I say to deduct a tax, X needs a TAN, but obviously Usko pan chahiye hoga of the deductee for telling the government that this income belongs to the deductee. So both the things are important here. X ka kisi or ne TDS kaata hoga to wo X ka pan lega aur uske paas TDS ho, uh, tan hona chahiye. Suppose A deducts tax on payment made to X. So that is X ka income A ka kharcha. So A will get the tan and X will get the X will have to give his pan. So, SSC is different, the person generating income is different, and the person doing TDS compliances is different. The first step to understand TDS compliance or tax deduction at source is that there are two different people. One is having income, another is having payment or the expenditure. The TDS liability or the tax deduction at source liability or the compliance liability is on X. If he does all his work timely, no problem. If he does not work his timely, then interest is there, penalty is there, fees is there, disallowances are there. What's our problem? Whenever a person comes into the shoes of deductor, he has to obtain a TAN. All these compliances would be done through his TAN account. And just this Dojo TDS would belong. That would be marked to the PAN of that person. Now, once the Mr. X would deposit this tax to the government, why ko kya mil jayega? TDS credit mil jayega. So why whenever he would log in in his income tax account, he will see that I have a TDS credit. Credit kya hota guys? Something which is there in your account and you can use it later. A TDS credit of 10,000, which Y can use when he will be filing his return of income which Y can use when he would be filing his return of income. Suppose at the time of filing the return of income, the tax liability is 1,50,000. So he can use this 10,000 which was there in his credit and then pay the remaining 140. So Y could be a tax credit, his tension is also reduced that okay, some tax is there uh, with the government in my name. His also tension is reduced, his tension is also reduced and when he will be paying taxes, it will, he will be paying net of the TDS or TCS credit which he has in his account. But why could assurance case work when he get that certificate? So TDS credit, when will it reflect? Not on the date immediately when the tax is deducted, but when the return is filed and told that this TDS belongs to Y. Now, guys, why I dedicated this 15 20 minutes to, to help you understand this tedious mechanism? Because I don't want that, okay, I day one now, section, batao, provision, batao, and then finish. No. Uh, this is something which all of you would be doing in your articleship. And majorly, this compliance comes 
or this is something which you will get to do even if you are doing audit because there are in tax audit you will see a lot of things uh, regarding disallowances are coming from here or even the as small as tedious mechanism would help into filing the return also so it becomes extremely extremely important to understand this mechanism as it is as in what does it happen because i can guarantee you there can be people sitting next to you they might know provision as in they have ratified it better okay what is section 192 what is the rate what is the amount etc 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 but do they really know how this mechanism works probably not so if i have to quickly tell you a summary of it tedious mechanism comes from the government need to have information timely and tax timely that's why the person who is the payer comes into the role of deductor because if that payment has tedious circum stick to it or the tax deduction source has to be done with respect to it even while making the payment or credit i'll come to that we have to deduct a certain amount from that particular type of expense and then make the payment uh, that amount which is deducted set aside is called tax deduction at source that is given to the government on behalf of the deductee that this tax belongs to the deductee because x anyway had to pay 1 lakh either wo y ko deta ya 90 and 10 90 by ko diya and 10 imposed to the government and y would get the tds credit of it but remember in any situation we will not say that y ka income is 90000 just because you have received bank account mein 90000 does not mean uh, the income is 90000 the income is 1 lakh which has been received in two parts 90000 in bank account and 10000 has been given to the government on behalf of y x the, who becomes a deductor has to do so many compliances apart from his own return filing uh, the compliances of tds has to be done through the deductor by obtaining and uh, but how will government know that this tds belong to another person that person has to give the pan which the deductor would file in the return so deductor has to deduct tax timely he has to deposit the tax timely he has to file the return and then he has to issue the certificate then that is how a journey of this 10000 tax deduction and source gets covered once he will deduct it then he will deposit it then he will file the return and then he will issue the certificate what it does anyone has any problem in understanding the tds because uske baad when we will go in understanding the particular section it would be very easy समझ आया नहीं आया यस नो माधव आई विल टेल यू सेक्शन बाय सेक्शन यू विल सी व्हिच पेमेंट इज टैक्स डिडक्टेबल नॉट नेसेसरी द वे सेक्शन बाय सेक्शन वी विल सी माधव जी जो टीडीएस जीएसटी में दैट इज डिफरेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग कीप दैट असाइड वाइल अंडरस्टैंडिंग इनकम टैक्स वाला जी टीडीएस करेक्ट देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स सी अभी मैं फॉर्म्स पे नहीं आई अभी मैं अलग अलग एस्पेक्ट पे आई एम नॉट कम दैट आई एम नॉट कम अबाउट द टाइम लाइन्स सी जेनरली डिडक्शन एट सोर्स है i'll come to few things deduction at source happens at the time of credit not payment whichever is earlier but in some cases only payment in some cases only payment yani credit or payment whichever is earlier matlab when you have received the bill because it is your expense now under while understanding tds we will assume all ourselves to be the deductor We will not assume ourselves to be an assessee. We will assume ourselves to be the deductor. Okay, so then we will understand it that we are in a position of deductor. So deductor co expense hai. expense can be due first or can be paid first, right? Advance payment ho sakta hai ya bill pehle mil jaye, right? So whatever is earlier based on whichever date is earlier based on that date, the tax is deducted. And in some cases only interest done on the date of payment, we will get to know. deposit of tax happens monthly whatever tax i have deducted as an a deductor in the entire month i will deposit it 
by the next seventh of the next month in general. Returns are filed quarterly. Every quarter ka return is filed. Ke haan, this this tax was deducted. This this tax belonged to this this person, and this tax has been deposited. And certificate is also issued quarterly, except in case of salary. So slowly, slowly we will do all the things. Abhi my main focus was that you don't go blank. Ki what is serious mechanism, ma'am? Why it is there? Abhi only these two things. I wanted to make it clear, and I hope it is clear. Marilyn, abhi we will do all those things. Don't worry, I have not finished TDS or my TCS. Pe nahi aonge. The two classes, which is today and tomorrow, uh, day, uh, Tuesday, would be done exactly for TDS. Sab kuch Sushil deductor kare ka na. You think yourself as a deductor. Apne kisi ko payment karna tha. Apne kam payment kiya. I'm uh, you made a less payment to that person. So. Less payment. Why you made less payment? Because a certain portion of the payment has been deposited to the government. So suppose I have make I have to make a payment to you, Sushil. I would deduct certain parts. So you will go now. Where my tax? Where my payment has gone to? I'll tell you that I have given you ninety thousand, ten thousand. I have given to the government. But you will say, show me the proof. So I will issue you the certificate that see I filed the return. I told the government that this tax belongs to you, and this is your certificate. So who will issue the certificate? Deduct. All those compliances would be done by deduct. Rama Devi, yes, there is forms. I'll come on all those things. It is deposited means correct payment to the government, as in the tax which I deducted has been deposited to the government by X, obviously. Ajay, ek by, one by one, I'll do all the things. Sushil, where is the confusion? Hai? So, there are certain persons who are saying, okay, ma'am, ek bari hindi mein explain kar do. Quickly, I will just tell in a minute that टैक्स रिडक्शन एट सोर्स जो हमारा टीडीएस है वो मैकेनिज्म ये कहता है कि गवर्नमेंट को टैक्स टाइमली मिले इनकम पे मिलता है टैक्स करेक्ट इनकम किसका हो रहा है एसएससी का व्हिच इज व्हाई बट व्हाई हर केस में टैक सही टैक्स दे टाइमली दे इंफॉर्मेशन दे या नहीं तो जो भी पर्सन सोर्स होता है उस पे लायबिलिटी लग जाता है टू डिडक्ट टैक्स उस पे कंप्लायंस का प्रॉब्लम आ जाता है मतलब कंप्लायंस सारे उस पे आ जाते हैं टीडीएस रिलेटेड तो मैंने वो पेमेंट जिस पे टीडीएस कटना चाहिए अगर वो कट काटना है तो टैक्स वुड बी डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम द अमाउंट व्हिच इज ड्यू बेसिकली वॉट एवर द एक्सपेंस अमाउंट इज देयर जो भी सोर्स ने इनकम जनरेट किया वाई के लिए वो टैक्स पे डिडक्ट करे वो उस इनकम पे टैक्स डिडक्ट करके गवर्नमेंट को डिपॉजिट करेंगे वो टैक्स एक्स का नहीं है वो वाई का ही है एक्स का वैसे भी कैश लो वन लाख का होता अगर टीडीएस नहीं होता बट सिंस अगर यहाँ पे टीडीएस है तो वो वन लाख कैसे डिवाइड हो रहा है नाइनटी थाउजेंड वाई के पास जा रहा है और टेन थाउजेंड इज गोइंग टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ वाई बिकॉज अदरवाइज क्या होता अगर टीडीएस नहीं होता वाई को इनकम मिलता वाई खुद के अकाउंट से पैसे देता बट नाउ क्या हो रहा है एक्स ही ये सारे काम कर रहे हैं एज अ डॉक्टर वन नाइन्टी थाउजेंड वाई को दे रहे टेन थाउजेंड गवर्नमेंट को दे रहे ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ वाई बट गवर्नमेंट को कैसे पता चलेगा कि ये वाई का टैक्स है एक्स बताएगा कि ये वाई के पैन को बिलोंग करता है वो वहां पे वी के नॉट राइट दिस पर्टिकुलर टैक्स बिलोंग्स टू अजय कुमार दे कैन बी टेन थाउजेंड अजय कुमार वी के नॉट राइट दिस पर्टिकुलर टैक्स बिलोंग्स टू रिदमा भाटिया There can be a lot of girls with the name of Ridhima Bhatti. So we tell PAN number. X tells us that this tax belongs to this PAN number. Okay? So the government knows that this tax is from this PAN. They will show it in his account. And Y will get a certificate. Yes, the amount of the tax is cut. And this particular amount would be visible in his 26 A's also. Don't worry about that. But X... फिर बहुत सारे कंप्लाइंसेस आ गए एक्स हैज टू डिडक्ट टैक्स एक्स हैज टू डिपॉजिट टैक्स एक्स हैज टू फाइल द रिटर्न उसको रिटर्न भी फाइल करना है सर्टिफिकेट भी देना है 
but all of this has to be done through a common number. So all the TDS related compliance, and all the compliance, not X as an SSE. SSE ki dara nahi, X as a deductor has to do through a common number, which is called TAN, Tax Deduction and Collection Account Number. So for all the activities which are done for the TDS compliance are done through this number. Okay, suppose A has deducted the tax of X. So then X is the SSE or the deductee and A is the deductor. So A will obtain, A has to obtain TAN. One time TAN obtain karna hota hai. A will obtain TAN for all the TDS related compliances and X will give his TAN number to it. See, the point is every income has a source. If I am earning an income, then there is a source. If that person is earning an income, then there is another source. So that mechanism weeps, goes on and on and on. If you want to copy the accounting entries, please go. Uh, please, you can. Guys, be chitna tedious mechanism samjhaya, sif usi me focus karna, no other things. So I think you will use the word tedious deducted by a person. Not collected, kyuki confusion khud hoga, okay? It has to be deposited on monthly basis, the deducted has to obtain tan, correct? TDS paid ni, TD, uh, deducted use the word karo, or TDS deducted ni, tax deducted at source. TDS ka matlab hi tax deducted at source hota hai. So tax deducted at source by employer on salary of employee is an expense for employer, correct? Correct. Avinash, see, jaysi mene yaa pe professional receipts dikha hai, vaysi agar employer tax deduct kar rahe, to salary account debit to employee account to TDS people account karega. But Mesa, who is payer, just need payment karna hai. That person is the deductor, correct? So payer and deductor are same. And who is pay, the person who receives the payment. So, and tax is ka deductor ka? This ko payment receive hona, as an income receive hona. So payer is the person who deducts the tax, basically deductor. And pay is the person who is receiving the payment or whose tax has been deducted, basically deductee. Interchangeably, you can use. Credit and payment, Mohammed. Credit, matlab, apne, apne accounts mein, think yourself as a deductor. Think yourself as a person who is incurring an expense. You have uh, credited as in you have made that person's bill due in your account. That is called credit. And if you're making payment for, that means if before getting the bill, you're making the payment. That is if advance payment has been done. So that is called credit and payment, whichever is earlier. Prashant, why are you saying employer? I have taken a general expense. And yahan pe I have not come through salary. Sab salary pe kyu aage, guys? Don't worry, we'll do. No one will use and write it as TDS collected or TDS deducted, tax deducted. Simple. Set of funds to guess what the way as in a mother there are certain payments which attract TDS otherwise known as in a key mirage when carrying out the materials card lungi no there are certain payments which attract TDS which will do Or quick doubt, guys. Anyone has any other doubt? Okay, surely clear. Good. Manish. No, for every TD each transaction, the deduction has to, does not have once the TAN is deducted, that can be used for every TD transaction. No, but why he will get the tax credit? No, TDS credit when he will be filing his return, pe the tax liability would come so suppose of 2 lakh rupees. But already 
टेन थाउजेंड इज इन एस क्रेडिट अकाउंट टेन थाउजेंड किसी ने ऑलरेडी गवर्नमेंट को दे दिया है अल्टीमेटली वाई हैज टू गिव टू लैख रुपीज टू गवर्नमेंट एज अ टैक्स लाइबिलिटी बट अल्टीमेटली समन हैज गिवन ऑन वाई एस बिहाव हेज टैक्स डिडक्शन एट सोर्स ऑलरेडी सो ही विल पे फ्रॉम हिस्स पॉकेट वन नाइनटी अल्टीमेटली दो लाख ही जा रहा है उसकी पॉकेट से बट टेन थाउजेंड किसी और ने पहले दे दिया थैंक यू अब मेनी ऑफ यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट मैम डज एवरी पेमेंट अट्रैक्ट टीडीएस कैसे पता चलेगा सो दैट टीडीएस मैकेनिज्म देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेमेंट फ्रॉम सेक्शन वन नाइनटी टू टू सेक्शन वन नाइनटी फोर एस मतलब टीडीएस ठीक है सो अभी फोकस सब टीडीएस पे होगा टीसीएस पे नो वन वुड फोकस अंटिल आई विल टेल यू ठीक है ईच सेक्शन कवर्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेमेंट सो नाउ फ्रॉम ऑनवर्ड्स यू विल मेक अ चार्ट अगेन सेक्शन मतलब कौन से सेक्शन में विच पेमेंट इज कवर्ड सो सपोज सेक्शन 192 नाइनटी टू विच विल स्टार्ट विथ कवर्स सैलरी यू विल टाइप टाइप ऑफ पेमेंट सैलरी ठीक है then who is the deductor who is the eligible deductor who is the eligible deductee matlab a question comes ki ma'am har salary payment pe tax kaatna hai sabko kaatna hai that or whether all salary payments will attract tds deduction or whether uh, only certain types of payment would attract tds deduction who would deduct the tax who would deduct the uh, whose tax would be deducted so that one by one whenever any payment comes to you you have to see which section it is covered in whether the person who is making the payment is an eligible deductor or not whether he is liable to deduct tax or not so who is the deductor who is the deductee at what rate the tax has to be deducted at what rate the tax has to be deducted at what time the tax has to be deducted that is on the basis of credit or payment yani jab due hua tab या जब पेमेंट हुआ तब वेन द पेमेंट इज डन एट दैट टाइम और वेन द क्रेडिट एज एन वेन द ड्यू वॉज डन एट दैट टाइम ओके एंड वी आर ऑल डिडक्टर्स नाउ एंड थ्रेश होल्ड लिमिट लास्ट पार्ट आपको बनाना है थ्रेश होल्ड लिमिट तो दीज फाइव सिक्स एक सेंटर पेज लेके बनाना गाइज इफ यू आर मेकिंग राइट नाउ and any other points to remember threshold limit kya hai see agar koi kisi ko 1000 rupees ka payment kar raha hai may not because it's not a huge amount may not involve tax deduction but if that payment is say a certain amount say 1 lakh rupees may involve tax deduction so threshold limit means ki at what point you have to deduct the tax If it's a nominal amount, then you might not be required to deduct the tax. So, payment कितना होना चाहिए that it is attracting the tax. So, these five things each, rather five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight points are which we will seek to answer. Which is what is the section? What is the payment? With what is the eligible deductor? Who is the deductee? What is the rate? What is the टाइम ऑफ पेमेंट टाइम ऑफ ऐसे टाइम ऑफ पेमेंट भी नहीं लिखते सॉरी गाइस इसको लिखते हैं टाइम ऑफ रिडक्शन एंड थ्रेश लिमिट एंड अदर पॉइंट विच यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर थ्रेश लिमिट मीन्स वेन द टीडीएस वुड बी ट्रिगर्ड ठीक है क्योंकि छोटे अमाउंट गवर्नमेंट को मेन मेजर ट्रांजेक्शन से पता फर्क पड़ता है राइट मैं किसी को थाउजेंड रुपीज का पेमेंट कर रही हूँ आई डोट हैव टू डिडक्ट दैक्स करेक्ट मोहम्मद रिफंड मिल जाएगा करेक्ट एम्प्लॉय डिडक्टिव कम टू दैट
if y does not have tax liability at the end of the year then he will get the refund credit yahi hota hai na suppose agar beko he pay my money stuck if i have to pay that money to the government i will pay the difference amount if nothing is payable to the government i will not pay if some or if i have to recover something from the government i'll get the refund उसी के लिए तो रिटर्न फाइल करेंगे इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न अब धीरे धीरे प्रोविजन विल डू यू विल गेट टू नो मोर क्लैरिटी बट फ्यू थिंग गाइस ऑल द रेट्स ऑफ टीडीएस आर इन जनरल आर फ्लैट रेट्स मतलब जहां टेन परसेंट लिखे टेन परसेंट का एडमेन नॉट टू बी इंक्रीज बाय सर चार्ज नॉट टू बी इंक्रीज बाय सेस दे आर फ्लैट रेट्स बट अनटिल एंड अनलेस कोई नॉन रेजिडेंट का बात हो रहा है या सैलरी पेमेंट पे बात हो रहा है यू विल कम टू डिडक्ट द टैक्स एट सर्टन अमाउंट ऑल्सो रिमेम्बर फ्यू थिंग दैट अ पर्सन हैज टू गिव द पैन हु विल गिव द पैन द डिडक्टी विल टेल इस पैन नंबर टू द डिडक्टर की ये लो आपने मेरा टैक्स काटा नॉट डिपोजिटेड and tell the government that this belongs to this person deductor has to get the tan number in few cases he does not require to get the tan i will let you know about that also uh, there are flat rates in most of the cases the tax is deduction at the time of credit or payment whichever is earlier yani bill pehle aaya to bill ke time pe ya payment pehle hui to payment ke time pe theek hai whichever is earlier and uh, remember one more thing in this x and y scenario Let's suppose suppose x was bound to deduct ten thousand. X was bound to deduct ten thousand, but he did not deduct ten thousand. उसे नहीं deduct किया उसने पूरा का पूरा one lakh y को दे दिया. He was liable to deduct it, but he did not deduct it. That does not make के y को tax नहीं देना पड़ेगा. Y government को ये नहीं कह सकता. The deductor ने deduct नहीं किया तो I will not pay you too. I will not pay the tax to you. No. Ultimately, always the liabilities of the person whose income is there, but he cannot escape from saying that the doctor ne apna kam nahi kiya, so I will also not pay the tax. I will also not pay this ten thousand to you. No, if the doctor does not do so, the doctor pay uska problems aega. But why ultimately has to dispose of his liability? Again, X ne deduct karke deposit nahi kiya tax, then he would be called assessee in default. He would be called. Assessee in default, and he will has an own liability and repercussions. Okay, so now let's move on to understand the first section, which is salary. Every section ke baad I will give you two minutes to see if you have any queries. Don't worry, we will not rush. TDS allow is deducted on each transaction if it is tax liable. So guys, quickly, section one ninety two is the first section which covers tax deduction at source level part, which is salary. So these are all types of payments which requires tax deduction at source, and we are all deductors now. Okay. So section one ninety two covers the provisions in relation to tax deduction at source on salary. Who would deduct the tax? Who would deduct the tax? The employer would deduct the tax. Kiska tax deduct hoga? Employee ka, obviously. Kiska tax deduct hoga? Employee ka. Then, what is the rate threshold limit, if any? And what is the time of deduction? Correct. Ye cheese hai dekhe. Come, let's come to that. Salary payment is tax deductible under Section one ninety two. So now, if anyone has to deduct tax for salary payments, he will refer to the provisions of Section one ninety two. What provision Section one ninety two tells about or talks about for tax deduction at source for salary? Okay. Now the question comes. Ma'am, all types of salary payment would be covered. Yes, wherever, whichever salary income. It stacks under the head salary for the employee. All those salary payments would be covered for Section one ninety two. 
whether that is pension, whether that is gratuity, whether that is a regular basic salary, whatever is there, that would be tax deductible. Now the question comes, ma'am, what, what time the TDS has to be deducted? At the time of payment. At the time of payment. So whenever the employer is making salary payment to employee, at that time he will deduct the tax. So this time salary due hua, us time nahi. Salary account to employee account ke time pe, he will not deduct the tax. So suppose salary account to employee account. Okay, he will deduct the tax, say, when the payment is ultimately has to be made to the employee. So, employee account debit to bank to TDS payable. Mm -hmm. Suppose, here, 80,000, roughly, I am telling you, and here, 20,000, roughly, okay. So, at the time of payment, not at the time of credit, but at the time of payment or at the time of payment. Okay. Now the question comes by what is the rate and what is the threshold limit? Now, salary is one thing. Pay, there is a lot of complexity. You give certain amount, but taxable amount is different. You give, uh, see, if I'm making you an HRA allowance payment of say 1 lakh per month, but allowance is actually exempt because of the rent which you're paying. So threshold limit and rate depends upon if, if, the salary which is paid by the employer to employee exceeds basic exemption limit. Exceeds the basic exemption limit. And now the rate is very interesting. I told you there are flat rates in TDS, but here section 192 is a bit different from all other sections. Here the rate, guys, is based on average monthly rate. Based on the average um, or I should say, monthly on average slab rate. What is this average slab rate? So guys, in general, except from salary, every section has a flat rate that you have to deduct at 10%, 5%, somewhere it's written 2%, somewhere it's written 1%. Every section has written what type of tax. Uh, what at what rate the tax has to be deducted. But section 192 is a bit different section. Wo keta hai, employer has to deduct the tax of employee. Now you know that salary may guys different different components hote hai, correct? Different different components hote hai. salary is something which is paid every month, almost everywhere. It is paid every month. Now the ab mein pay kuch odd kar rahi actually, but taxable some other amount is happening, right? So what the government came up with the solution to deduct tax is through making a mini computation. Um, so, employer has all the details of what salary he is paying and what salary is taxable. Correct? He has all the details of allowances, exemptions, etc. etc. So, what will employer do? Employer will make a computation. Computation means pura income compute karega kiska employee ka. Employer will make a computation of employee. Total income he will take up for the year. For the year. He will calculate the tax on such income. Ki kya tax aara hai on such income. So suppose for the year, the tax is coming to 3 lakh rupees. The tax is coming to 3 lakhs rupees on the entire income of the employee for the year. So on this 3 lakh rupees, just slab rates according tax aya, he would deduct it, divide by 12, 25,000 every month. So average slab rates ke basis pe, slab rates ke upar jo average aega, us basis pe he will deduct the tax. Let me give you an example on it. Don't worry, we'll go one by one, you'll get hold of everything. Up, you are the employer, you have these details, ki basic salary, kitna hai, HRA, kitna hai, DA, kitna hai, other allowances. Kitna hai. Let's assume everything is taxable. So what will employer do? Suppose he has to make the payment for the month of April, salary payment. What he will do? He will see kitna basic, hai, kitna HRA, kitna DA. 
तो एनुअली कितना हो गया थ्री सिक्सटी थर्टी थाउजेंड ऑफ बेसिक बिकम्स थ्री सिक्सटी फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड ऑफ एच आर ए बिकम्स वन एटी एनुअली डी ए ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बिकम्स टू फोर्टी अदर अनाउंस ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बिकम्स टू फोर्टी ठीक है सो टोटल साल का टेन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड हो गया योर टैक्सीबल सैलरी बट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज अ स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्शन ठीक है नाउ नाइन लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड दिस इज अ कॉम्प्यूटेशन विच एवरी एम्प्लॉयर मेक्स फॉर एवरी एम्प्लॉज फॉर हू द टैक्स हैज टू बी डिडक्टेड ठीक है नाउ आई टोल्ड यू थ्रेश होल्ड लिमिट वेन दैट सैलरी विच इज गिव टैक्सीबल अंडर दी सैलरी फॉर द एम्प्लॉय is more than the basic exemption limit that means the tax has to be deducted but how much tax has to be deducted employer will calculate ke 9 lakh 70 pe kitna tax banta hai which says 1 lakh 10000 970 pe which says 1 lakh 10760 banta hai so 1 lakh 10760 is on the entire income of 9 lakh 70000 which would be earned during the year that is from april to march So one lakh ten thousand seven sixty four. If I have to recover, deduct, I will have to deduct tax. I will not deduct it in one go. I will deduct it on average basis. That is, how many months are left to deduct tax? Now, since I am on in April, that means I have full twelve months to deduct tax. So one lakh ten thousand by seven sixty. That means nine thousand two thirty is my April month deduction from the salary of April. so when i'll be making payment of salary for the month of april i will deduct tax of 9230 simple ab jaise main may mein gayi ab hum main may ka salary ka payment kar rahi hu i am making salary payment for the month of may ab may ka salary payment karte time again i will see what does the computation stand at abhi bhi बेसिक सैलरी इज थर्टी एच आर इज फिफ्टीन डी ए इज ट्वेंटी अदर अनाउंस इज ट्वेंटी एनुअली इट कम्स टू टेन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड का स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्शन टैक्सीबल सैलरी कम्स टू नाइन सेवेंटी ठीक है नाउ टोटल टैक्स ऑन दिस इज वन लैख टेन थाउजेंड सेवन सिक्सटी करेक्ट बट इसमें से गाइज नाइन थाउजेंड टू थर्टी ऑलरेडी डिडक्ट कर दिया है करेक्ट नाइन थाउजेंड टू थर्टी ऑलरेडी अप्रिल में डिडक्ट कर दिया है नाउ एज एन एम्प्लॉयर मेरे को कितना टैक्स और डिडक्ट करना है वन Like one thousand five thirty in eleven months. Why eleven months? Because April में तो deduct हो गया. अब remaining months कितने बचे? May, June, July होगा. September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Eleven months. So again, May month का भी deduction comes to nine thousand two thirty. But problem क्या हुआ? June में भी same nine thousand two thirty आएगा. August में भी same. July में भी same. Everything. But October में क्या हुआ? उसका salary बढ़ गया. He received bonus also now, so fifty thousand bonus Diwali bonus मिल गया. Now the taxable salary changed. Correct. अब मैं क्या करूँ? वापस जाके return revise करूँगी TDS का? No. October में मैं फिर से computation बनाऊँगी. We are the employers. We are the deductor. ठीक है. I will make the computation again and I will see now the taxable salary is ten lakh twenty thousand. This pay tax comes to one lakh twenty three to forty. But till October, how much tax I have deducted? Fifty five thousand three eighty. How much? Nine thousand two thirty every month. April May 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 June May July August and September. Six months over. So, how much tax is required to be deducted now? Sixty seven thousand eight sixty. But how many months are left? I cannot deduct entire tax of the remaining October to March period in one go. No. So, sixty seven eight sixty. How many months are left? Six months. Now, the October month deduction, guys. In this case, would be eleven thousand three hundred and ten. Got it. So, can I say, as an employer who has to deduct tax of employee, he will prepare a proper salary computation for the entire year because taxability component varies, and whenever in which month he has to deduct, he will compute the income of the entire year. He will compute the tax of the entire year. Whatever tax has been deducted on salary earlier would be reduced, and from now on, remaining months पे जितना tax काटना चाहिए that would be taken, and the average of it would be considered as deduction for that particular month. That's why I wrote it average slab rate. अब you will ask कि मैं new scheme से करने का deduct tax और old scheme से, right? The employee will tell to the employer, 
एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर और एट द टाइम ऑफ द जॉइनिंग बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर मतलब अगर मैं अप्रिल से फाइव विद द इम्प्लॉयर I will tell you deduct my tax as per this scheme, or at the time when I am joining during the middle of the year, I will tell that deduct my tax as per this scheme. So at the beginning or at the time of joining, he will tell that deduct the tax as per old scheme or deduct the tax as per the new scheme. So, just salary people who they are, they are free. They are set aside because they go almost all the tax deduct ho jata hai because they compute the computation. और ऐसे एम्प्लॉई एवरी एम्प्लॉयर विल मेक कॉम्प्यूटेशन फॉर एवरी एम्प्लॉय सबका एक साथ नहीं कि इफ आई एम मेकिंग टेन पेमेंट्स ऑफ सैलरी टू टेन डिफरेंट पीपल और मैं एक साथ ऐसे करूंगी नहीं फॉर एवरी एम्प्लॉय आई विल मेक सच कॉम्प्यूटेशन टूडे डेज पे वी हैव सॉफ्टवेयर विच कैन डू इट इजिली जस्ट हैव टू पुट इन फिगर इट कैन डू इजिली बट यू हैव टू डू इट फॉर ऑल एम्प्लॉय सेपरेटली टीडीएस गाइस इज अ पेयर एंड अ पे रिलेशनशिप दैट मीन्स All the limits have to be seen on one-on-one -on -one basis. I can be making thousand types of payment, but one-on-one -on -one basis, pe I will check what type of payment is this, whether it would be covered or not. समझ आया ये वाला point? मोहम्मद सब सब समझाएंगे पहले ये समझ आया स्टेप बाय स्टेप एज आई टोल्ड यू टू थिंक अप्रैल मंथ में टोटल टैक्स मेरे को टोटल टैक्स फॉर द ईयर कितना डिडक्ट करना है इफ आई टॉक अबाउट फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल वन लैख टेन थाउजेंड सेवन सिक्सटी करेक्ट I have how many months to deduct tax? Twelve months. As an employer, I am assuming that he would be there for twelve months. So one thousand one lakh ten thousand seven sixty divided by twelve. So April months ka deduction aa gaya nine two thirty. A May me aayi, May me aayi. So total tax mujhe kitna deduct karna hai one ten seven sixty. But already April me I have deducted nine two thirty. So remaining taxes one lakh. 1530 that has to be deducted in 11 months so average kitna deduct karna hai 9230 average samajh aa gaya harindra no employer can deduct all the tax in one go no he has to stick to that average approach if he has the remaining months in his hand See, Rituraj. Once the employer has chosen the scheme that I have to, uh, not the employers. Once the employee tells the employer that uh, I uh, want uh, to opt for one, मतलब I am opting one one five BAC or I am opting out of one one five BAC. The tax would be deducted in the, as per that scheme for the entire year. ऐसा नहीं है दैट वन मंथ द टैक्स वुड बी डिडक्टेड एज पर वन वन फाइव बी एस सी सेकेंड मंथ द टैक्स वुड बी डिडक्टेड एज पर योर ऑप्टिंग आउट ऑफ वन वन फाइव बी एस सी ऑल प्रोविजन नो वंस द स्कीम इज टोल्ड टू द एम्प्लॉयर फॉर दैट इयर द टैक्स वुड बी डिडक्टेड एज पर दैट स्कीम बट एज एन एम्प्लॉय यू कैन चेंज द स्कीम वाइल फाइलिंग द रिटर्न ऑफ इंक यू कैन चेंज द स्कीम वाइल फाइलिंग द रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम उस टाइम पे फिर जो भी डिफरेंस और वट एवर रिफंड इज दैट इज योर्स बट एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द ईयर यू हैव टू टेल दैट विच स्कीम यू आर फॉलोइंग इफ यू विल नॉट टेल देन ही वुड बाय डिफॉल्ट डू द डिफॉल्ट स्कीम तो भक्ति अक्टूबर में आके क्या हुआ सैलरी कॉम्पिटिशन चेंज हो गया वाई डिड इट गेट चेंज Because now the bonus is there. I cannot go and revise that April. अरे ये तो total taxable salary ten twenty हो गई पहले तो nine seventy थी. I cannot go and take recovery from April May June month. But what I have is that again I will calculate the computation. Again I will calculate the total tax. Again I will see what tax has been deducted. I will reduce it from that. And again whatever tax is required to be deducted that would be averaged out. The results.
गाइस इनकम टैक्स के स्लैब रेट से निकाला है हाउ टू कैलकुलेट टैक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट क्लास आल्सो अब क्वेश्चन इज मैम ये सारा इंफॉर्मेशन तो एवरी वन वुड हैव करेक्ट नो गाइस एच आर ए है सपोज एच आर ए है हाउ विल द एम्प्लॉयर नो दैट एम्प्लॉय इज पेइंग रेंट और नॉट एम्प्लॉय विल टेल दैट आई एम पेइंग रेंट आई एम पेइंग रेंट ही विल कैलकुलेट द एग्जामेशन अब बट हाउ वुड आई टेक दैट ओके यस दिस पर्सन इज पेइंग रेंट हाउ वुड आई टेक दैट आई कैन टेक इन टू अकाउंट ही विल गिव मी द प्रूफ He will give me the proof. Now I am the employer. You are the employee. You tell me that my entire HR is not taxable. It is exempt. Why? Because I am paying the rent. I will okay. I will say okay. But give me the proof. Give me the proof. So what are the proofs? The rent receipts are the proof, or the rent agreements are the proof. Now this proof may not be there at the beginning of the year, but by the end of the year. When I'm making the final computation, I'm seeing that कहीं गड़बड़ तो नहीं है as an employer, or do I have to recover more, or have I deducted more, whatever the entire March computation is the final computation, whatever the March computation would be the final computation. So before that, you have to give me the proofs. If you will not give me the proofs, I will not believe on you. Okay, I will not believe on you, and then I will make everything taxable. I will make everything taxable. So. earlier at the beginning of the year the things can work on declaration that you give me declaration that ha ma'am i will pay i am paying rent of so and so amount during the year but by the year ends you have to tell and support that with proofs you have to tell and support that with proofs now come to the other part of that ki ma'am theek hai ye computation ban raha hai can an employee tell to the employer even if it is tds on salary even if it is called as tax deduction on salary but ma'am since the entire computation is made by the employer the entire computation is made by the employer can employee tell his other income details also so that he is making the computation he can sit back and relax and the employer can deduct tax on the entire amount yes the ssc has the right to the sorry i'll not use the word ssc the deducting which is the employee has a right to tell the details of other income it is not mandatory as an employee if you are having other income you can tell me i am the employee you are the employee you can tell me he uh, sir i have or ma'am i have so and so incomes i will consider that in computation and i will consider that while deducting tax so you will say ma'am why would someone tell about all these income it is totally voluntary it is totally voluntary number 1 secondly guys it would be like otherwise you wouldn't have to think about depositing advance tax or things or depositing self assessment tax while filing the return so to ignore that and to sit back and relax you tell me your other income details also and if you will tell me your other income details i have to consider those details i have to consider those details so in this case which is example 2 the person told me along with his salary that he has house property income also i said okay he told he gave me an amount that 240000 would be house property income so i considered it why because i any which way i am preparing a computation i am preparing the computation i am preparing the tax on it correct any which way i am doing that so now while you tell me that i have house property income also i will consider that also i will consider that too so now in this case when you told me that i have 240000 ka house property income your computation got revised from the salary taxable income of 970 now there is house property taxable income of 240 so now the total income is 1210000 now the tax on total income of 1210000 comes to 182520 which i have to deduct for The entire year in twelve months. So April month ka deduction kitna hoga fifteen thousand two hundred and ten. So while making a salary payment of eighty five thousand, I will deduct fifteen thousand two hundred ten for the month of April. Similarly, may maybe the same thing goes. May maybe the <laughs> total taxable income comes twelve ten only. The tax on such income comes to one lakh eighty five five twenty. Fifteen thousand two hundred ten has already been deducted. the amount remaining to be deducted is 
one lakh sixty seven three ten. That has to be deducted in eleven months. That again comes to fifteen thousand two hundred ten. Similarly, the same examples. I mean, October ke bhi sab se kare. You can see how the amount is coming. Man, ye to wo income ka baat. Can as have you made deductions? Para can the employee tell about the deductions also? Whatever tax saving he has, yes, the employee can tell about the deductions also. Whatever tax saving the employee has, he can tell about those deductions also. But tax saving, so we can do during the entire year also. Correct. You can give me the declaration, and by the end of the year, you have to submit me the proof. If you will not submit me the proof, then I will not consider them. If you will submit with the proof, then I will consider them. So, if suppose for October, me ake this guy tells me that ma'am, me na one lakh fifty thousand ka deductions bhi hai ATC me mila. Okay. So again, I calculated salary total taxable salary I ten twenty house property taxable I at two forty. Then deductions bhi aage one fifty ka. Now total taxable income is coming to eleven ten instead of twelve ten. And bonus we will get the fifty thousand ka. Okay, now tax on total income is coming to one lakh forty five thousand five hundred. Uh, which says comes to one lakh fifty one thousand three twenty. This pay tax already deduct hua hua ninety one thousand two sixty. How fifteen thousand two hundred ten for six months? I mean the month of October. कितना tax deduct करना है और sixty thousand sixty. But how many months are left? Six months are left. How many months are left? Six months are left. So now October onwards, I will deduct the tax of ten thousand. Why? Because sixty thousand divided by six, ten thousand, ten rupees. पहले कितना tax deduct होना था fifteen thousand ten, two hundred ten every month. But now it has been reduced to ten thousand ten. Why? Because now you have told me that there is deduction also. There is deduction also. So prospectively tax gets revised. Retrospectively नहीं होगा. Prospectively the tax get Device, but again and again, I'm saying, guys, for all of these things, you have to give me the proofs. For all of these things, you have to give me the proof. One second. For all of these things, you will tell me what is the proof. अगर आप मुझे बोल रहे हो that I have house rent allowance, I have the rent, ma'am. So you have to give me the rent receipts, and if the payment of rent is more than one lakh, you have to give me the pan of the landlord also. If you are claiming concession of leave travel concession, then you have to give me the evidence of expenditure. If you are claiming deduction under Chapter Six A, then you have to give me the evidence of expenditure. Suppose you are telling me that I am eighty C me, I have life insurance premium, so you have to give me the premium receipts. Suppose you are telling me I am eighty D me, I have medical insurance premium, give me the premium receipts. Suppose you make a PPF contribution, again a receipt would be generated on it. So that you have to give me a certificate or the receipt you have to give me. Incomes I will consider on declaration. Incomes का proof नहीं देना. And you can tell me income under any head. You want to tell me I have professional income of two lakhs. I will consider PGBP income of two lakhs. You want to tell me you have other sources में interest of two lakhs. I will consider it. But you have to give me the proof of the things which you reduce your tax liability. The things which reduces your tax liability. उसका proof देना. Income का proof नहीं चाहिए. Income I can take it on declaration basis also. Now, ma'am, loss. What about other losses? Suppose I have business loss. Suppose I have other sources loss. No loss is considered. You will tell me, okay, ma'am, I have business loss of five lakh rupees. I will not believe it. I will not take it. I am not bound to take it, except house property loss. So only one loss is considered. That is only house property loss. Or house property me loss ka baat hai, guys. When there is interest paid during the year, correct? Only then the loss comes. So interest के लिए what proof you will give me the interest certificate, the interest certificate. So can I conclude that the employer has to consider all incomes told by the employee while computing the tax liability and then while computing the TDS, but he will not consider losses except loss from house property. 
loss from house property ke liye what is the evidence the interest certificate will he consider tax saving reductions yes he will consider tax saving reductions but again evidence has to be given by the end of the year at the beginning of the year also you can tell ki ha i have so and so things but that can work on a declaration basis but as in how the year is about to end you have to give me the proofs abhi ye jo january to march ka time hai guys it is all about submitting the proofs so if you will not submit the tax submit the proofs the tds would be deducted on the higher amount why ma'am uh, or the higher tds would be deducted why because ab deductions and other things hat jayenge to naturally tax bill income would increase naturally tax liability would increase and naturally tax deducted would increase got it guys would be doubt partner salary pe tax katega under section 192 no why because partner salary is not taxable under the head salary for the partner it is taxable under the head pgbp and the first thing i told you section 192 covers only those type of income which are taxable under the head salary for the pay that is the employee guys a class cheez reh gaya hai but do you have any doubt up till now Prabhupati says it is clear. Shrinivasan, I am not talking about non-monetary. Please, yes, pay slip pe sab aata hai. But Swati, bonus is not given every month. But Baba, wo meri computation mein to aa gaya once received. Computation mein to wo part ban gaya na. you are making the computation for the entire year for in every month agar employee resign kar de the 6 mahine ke baad so suppose the tax whatever is deducted less or whatever is deducted so suppose uh, i have already deducted a lot of tax so no problem this would be deposited and you can claim the refund while filing the return अभी नहीं कम टू इट एवरी मंथ प्रूफ नहीं देना ऋतुराज द प्रूफ हैज टू बी सबमिटेड एज एन वेन वी आर अप्रोचिंग टू द क्लोजर ऑफ द इयर इफ एट इफ यू टेल मी की यू हैव ए टी सी का डिडक्शन एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द इयर आई विल टेक इट बेस्ड ऑन योर वर्ड एज एन ऑन योर डेक्लेन But towards the end of the year, I will tell you, Baba. Now give me the proof. Because if you are not giving me the proof, I will remove it again. I will make a computation, and whatever tax would be deducted by, I will take that from you. TDS is deducted every month. That is basically every time the payment of salary is done, which is generally done every month. Oh, Mat, I will come to assess in default. Abhi chhod do na, please. And no, I am sorry. डिडक्टर एस एस सी तो है मनोहर डिडक्टर का खुद का इनकम होगा वो इनकम पे आई टी आर फाइल करेगा बट दीज आर ऑल कम्प्लाइंस फॉर पी डी एस सो ऑल दीज डन आर थ्रू डिडक्टर थ्रू टैन वेरी गुड मदर सीजीबीपी का लॉस तो वैसे भी सैलरी से सेट ऑफ नहीं होता बट टैन से कोई भी लॉस नहीं कंसिडर करोगे एक्सेप्ट हाउस प्रॉपर्टी Nancy, TDS refund मिलेगा when the SSC will file his return and he will tell that my tax liability was ten thousand, but the tax deducted at source that is TDS credit in my account is supposed to be fifty thousand. So he will get the refund. अगर tax deduct हो गया once the tax is deducted by the uh, deductor, he will deposit it. You cannot say give me the refund of it. No. If you want to claim the refund, you have to wait for the year to end. You have to file the return of income. You have to wait for that return to be checked by the government, and then you will get the refund. Hardik, no doubt. I 
एम्प्लॉयर सेट ऑफ कैरी फॉरवर्ड कुछ नहीं कर रहा जितना एम्प्लॉयर के पास इंफॉर्मेशन है सी एम्प्लॉयर हैज ओनली इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सैलरी करेक्ट रेस्ट वट एवर इनकम इन्फॉर्मेशन यू विल गिव दैट वुड बी टेकन वट एवर डिडक्शन इन्फॉर्मेशन यू विल गेट दैट वुड बी टेकन बट बाय द एंड ऑफ द ईयर यू हैव टू गिव द प्रूफ इवन एम्प्लॉयर इफ इफ हैज टू कैलकुलेट टैक्सीबल कॉम्पोनेट्स ऑफ सैलरीज ऑल्सो लाइक एच आर एक्जेंशन सेक्शन टेन फोर्टीन एल टी सी ये सब भी उसको प्रूफ के साथ होंगे इफ यू विल नॉट गिव द प्रूफ यू विल नॉट कंसिडर इट टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द ईयर सबके लिए सेम प्रोसीजर है पेंशन के लिए किसी भी चीज के लिए सेम प्रोसीजर है इट इज नॉट अ लॉस फॉर एस एस सी नैन शी बल्कि आप थोड़ा थोड़ा अमाउंट पे थोड़ा थोड़ा टैक्स ले रहे हो इनसेड ऑफ गिविंग इन वन गो तो कोई प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं है लावण्या एवरी मंथ प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली एवरी मंथ वेन सी एवरी मंथ द टैक्स द सैलरी कॉम्पिटिशन और द टोटल इनकम कॉम्पिटिशन इज मेड बाई द इम्प्लॉयर और द इम्प्लॉय फॉर द इम्प्लॉय मेड बाय द इम्प्लॉयर फॉर द इम्प्लॉय एवरी मंथ और वो कॉम्पिटिशन होता एंटायर ईयर के लिए मे में जो सैलरी था दे एज्यूम दैट दिस वुड बी फॉर द एंटायर ईयर मेड द कॉम्पिटिशन अकॉर्डिंगली द सपोज अक्टूबर में सैलरी फिगर्स गेट इंक्रीज सो दे विल अगेन मेक द कॉम्पिटिशन फॉर द एंटायर ईयर एंड कंप्यूट द टैक्स अकॉर्डिंगली एंड वट एवर टैक्स हैज बिन डिडक्टेड ऑलियर वुड बी रिड्यूस्ड सिंपल basic exemption limit prashant is the amount not deductible to tax which is 2 lakh 50000 in case of individual 3 lakhs in case of resident senior citizen 5 lakhs in case of resident super senior citizen as per the old scheme and as per the default scheme it is 3 lakhs for every ssc yes just 5 minutes अभी सैलरी में एक और लास्ट कॉन्सेप्ट बचा है जिससे एवरीथिंग वुड बी क्लियर कहीं पे भी यू विल नॉट गेट दीज एग्जाम्पल तो प्लीज 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 गेट इट क्लियर और सैलरी तो एवरीवेयर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इसमें नॉन मॉनिटरी पर्पज इट मैं आऊंगी बाद में सबसे पहले का एक और चीज लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ सैलरी ऐसा भी तो हो सकता है ना गाइज I can work with one employer at the beginning of the year. फिर मैंने जून में जॉब छोड़ दिया देन आई कैन वर्क विद द सेकेंड एम्प्लॉयर करेक्ट और एट द सेम टाइम आई कैन वर्क विद टू एम्प्लॉयर्स आई कैन वर्क विद ए ऑल्सो इन द मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट एंड विद बी एम्प्लॉयर इन द ड्यूरिंग द इवनिंग शिफ्ट करेक्ट आई कैन डू दैट सो उस केस में गए टी डी एस कैसे डिडक्ट होगा इट इज टोटली माई चॉइस टू टेल माई अदर इनकम्स अदर इनकम्स टू दी एम्प्लॉयर करेक्ट किसकी चॉइस है इम्प्लॉय की चॉइस है क्योंकि सैलरी फिगर्स तो एम्प्लॉयर के पास है द सैलरी फिगर्स आर विद इम्प्लॉय बट एंड विच सैलरी फिगर्स द सैलरी विच ही स्पेंग टू मी बट इट इज टोटली माई चॉइस वेदर आई हैव टू टेल हिम और हर दैट वॉट आर माई अदर इनकम्स करेक्ट आई फेर टेल देन ही हैज टू कंसिडर इफ आई विल नॉट टेल देन ही डज नॉट हैव टू कंसिडर इट इज टोटली माई चॉइस Now, as an employee, if I am working, suppose with an employer one in the month of April to June, and then with employer two from July to March, how will the tax liability say happen? Now, suppose the employer one might not have deducted any tax. Suppose I have given the notice and he knows that I will be going in the month of June, so he did not deduct any tax. Why so? Because when he computed my salary for three months, he will not compute it for the entire year. Why? Because he knows that I am leaving in June. I am leaving in the month of June, so he did not. Uh, I have given my notice period at the beginning of the year only. 
So he did not deduct any tax because for as per him, he has to pay only three months of salary. And three months of salary is not coming to be taxable salary. It is below the basic exemption limit. Correct. So he did not deduct any tax. No problem. Now I went to another employer in my new job as an employee with employer two. Or from July to March. So employer two knows that I will be paying nine months of salary. So nine months of salary may what happened? He took nine months of salary. He took tax on nine months of salary, which comes to 85,800, which he has deducted over the period of nine months. No problem? No problem. I did not tell employer too that I had a job before also and I was earning there also. So I did not tell them. No problem. But up kya hua? I am relaxed. I am relaxed. I am saying employer one ko bhi salary pata hai, employer two ko bhi salary pata hai. Now I have to file my return of income. I am the employee. I have to file my return of income. Now, return I file return in the month of July 2024, which is of the assessment year. So, when I sat there and I said, Ki, haan, everyone has deducted their tax, I saw that my total salary is coming to 11,55,000. Taxable salary is coming to 11,5,000. Okay, basic salary, HRA, DA, other allowances, daily, and 50,000 standard deduction. This is actual income computation. Kis ki ho rahi hai? Employee. Ki, meri. Okay, now total tax kitna ban raha tha? 1,44,000. Jispe with says kitna bana guys? 1,49,760. Correct? 1,49,760. But TDS credit to only 8,500. And I'm wondering why the difference is coming. Employer 1 ne bhi TDS dekha. Employer 2 ne bhi TDS katta. Ab total. So I should have been relaxed. I should not have to pay any tax. But now when I'm filing my return of income, I have to pay 63,960. And I'm still sitting and wondering why this thing has happened. Because generally, kya hota hai, if there is only salary income, the tax is deducted in entirely by employer. The employer has deducted the tax in entirety. Employee does not have to do anything. He just has to file the return and koi total tax deni ke zarurat nahi because everything is considered and deposited by the employer. But now, as an employee here, I am confused at why this thing is happening. Why am paying the why a liability of payment of tax is coming here? Can anyone tell me why? Why, when I combined employer one and employer two ka information, the liability to pay tax is coming? When employer one has also considered all the income, employer two has also considered all the income. Why the liability to pay tax as an employee is coming in my end again after combining the both the incomes. The reason is employer one may be 50,000 consider kia and yaha pe apna uh, slab rates consider kia basic exemption limit for se consider kia and similarly employer two may be uh, they also considered 50,000 separately and they also considered uh, your uh, basic exemption limit, etc, etc. But in reality, I am only allowed to one 50,000 ka standard deduction, correct? And only one time slab benefits. So because of not telling my information to employer two about what salary I earned earlier, this confusion got created. This confusion got created. Again, it's not necessary that I have to tell to the second employer that what income I've earned from the previous employers. But if I will not tell, I have to be prepared that if I will not tell, there can be certain tax liability which can arise, which I have to give from my own pocket, which I have to give from my own pocket. So it's not necessary that the employer has to tell, uh, the employee has to tell all the details of the previous employment or at the same time of employment to the employer. But it is recommended to tell because otherwise, if you will not tell at the end of the year, you have to pay tax at the End of the year, you will be the one who has to pay tax and it can come with the interest repercussions also. Okay? So, here the paragraph says, in case, when an SSE is employed simultaneously under more than one employer or the SSE takes a job with another employer, during the financial year, after his resignation or retirement from the services of the former employer, 
ही मे मे लिखा हुआ है शैल नहीं लिखा हुआ ही मे फर्निश द डिटेल्स ऑफ इनकम अंडर द सैलरीज ड्यू और रिसीव बाय हिम फ्रॉम द अदर एम्प्लॉयर द टैक्स डिडक्टेड देयर फ्रॉम एंड सच अदर पर्टिकुलर्स टू द करंट एम्प्लॉयर देयर अपॉन सब्सिक्वेंट एम्प्लॉयर शुड टेक सच इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टू कंसिडरेशन एंड देन डिडक्ट द टैक्स रिमेनिंग पेबल इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयज रेम्यूनरेशन फ्रॉम बोथ द एम्प्लॉयज पुट टूगेदर फॉर द रेलिवेंट इयर बिकॉज अगर वो ऐसा नहीं करेगा वी सॉ दैट दी एस एस सी दैट इज द एम्प्लॉय would have to pay tax at the time of filing the return or as advance tax as the case may be got it okay ab fata fat if you will see illustration 1 okay and completely solve it please ignore alternatively wala approach and solve it till here and you'll get to know how the tax is deducted okay quickly so this is totally from my part on the tax deduction at source under salary so yahan pe if you have to write section 192 is salary uh payment here the eligible deductor is the employer eligible deductor is the employee rate is average slab rate Quickly, I'm writing time of deduction at the time of payment. Threshold limit when the tax salary is above basic exemption limit, or any other points to remember. Other points to remember. May I say, employee may tell other income details which the employer has to consider, but he not the losses except house property losses. He can give the deduction details also, and the scheme. Whatever the employee tells, that will follow. If employee does not tell, default tax regime will. follow okay so quickly now we will take a break post break we will talk about other provision and also your any doubt in relation to the we doubt as such ऋतुराज टीडीएस नहीं करता ऑन सैलरी पेमेंट टू पार्टनर व्हाई बिकॉज दैट सैलरी इज नॉट टैक्सेबल अंडर दैलरी ऋतुराज टीडीएस नहीं करता ऑन सैलरी पेमेंट टू पार्टनर व्हाई बिकॉज दैट सैलरी इज नॉट टैक्सेबल अंडर दैलरी मंथ अश्विनी कहां से स्टैंडर्ड डिडक्शन आ गया कॉम्प्यूटेशन में पूरे साल का बना रही हूँ एवरी मंथ कॉम्प्यूटेशन इज प्रिपेयर फॉर द एंटायर ईयर एवरी मंथ बेस्ड ऑन द फिगर्स आई हैव इन दैट पर्टिकुलर मंथ एंड सी टुवर्ड्स द क्लोजर ऑफ द ईयर ऑब्वियसली द एस्टिमेशन आइडिया वुड बी लेस एंड द रियलिटी फैक्टर वुड बी मोर बिकॉज नाउ एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द ईयर एस्टिमेशन आर हायर बट टुवर्ड्स द क्लोजर ऑफ द ईयर रियलिटी फैक्टर आर मोर बिकॉज अब मुझे और क्लियर पिक्चर नजर आ रहा है कि वट आर द टोटल इनकम ऑफ द इंटायर यो वट आर द डिडक्शन ऑफ द इंटायर यो वट हैव टू कंसिडर और नॉट करेक्ट इनकम कैन बी एनी इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी लेट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी से भी हो सकता है बट लॉस फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी कैन ओनली बी बिकॉज ऑफ द इंटरेस्ट ऑन लोन ठीक है सो दिस इज फ्रॉम माई साइड ऑन सैलरी पोस्ट ब्रेक वी विल स्टार्ट ऑन सेक्शन वन नाइनटी थ्री बट इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट विल टेक इट अप थैंक यू
So welcome back after the break, everyone. Now we will before we move to the next section. Uh, एक तो doubt है. Okay, so if Manoha says, "Okay, ma'am, suppose I tell you that I uh I will give you one lakh fifty thousand ka tax deduction. Uh, I will give you one lakh fifty thousand ka deduction ka proof under ATC, but at the end of the year, I will I does not I do not give you." So March ka whenever I'm making the payment of salary again I will make the revised computation and again now obviously the tax would be higher because now you have not given me the reduction I will not consider it if I will not consider the reduction the taxable income would be higher so hence the tax liability would be higher so which I will recover for the March salary payment. Okay. So now, Nenshi, where is the doubt? Clubbing of salary? Stop. Again, I'm saying stop using wrong technical words. Clubbing of salary wala provision is made. Simple sa hai. Employer 1 ne apni understanding ke according tax deduct kiya. Employer 2 ne apni understanding. So I'm explaining it in Hindi because Nenshi asked so. Employer 1 ne apni information ke according kiya. Employer 2 ne apni information ke according. But dono ne kya kiya? Standard deduction do bari le liya. Jabki eki bari as an SIC one standard deduction is allowed of 50,000. Ek lakh ka thori na standard deduction allowed hota hai. Correct? Kuki teko. Otherwise meda total income aap kehte baam 850 and 2 lakh 5. 1055 aana chahiye. But actually mein income kitna aare? 11 lakh 5. Why is the difference? Because both of them have standard reduction. Why is the difference in tax? Because both of them have taken basic limit benefit. Both of them have taken slab rates benefit. Which as an employee, I've got only one time. Okay, both of them have taken slab rates benefit. Which as an employee, I've got only one time. So, this is the difference in tax. In tax, there is a difference in income. There is a difference in income. There is a difference in tax. That's why, I'm not saying that you cannot do like this. I'm saying to avoid the situation, if you don't want to pay tax separately, or you don't want to pay advance tax, then you can tell employer to all the salary figures and he will deduct the tax accordingly. Okay? So let's now move ahead and understand our next section, which is another section of TDS. Which is section 193. 192 ke baad next section which we will be doing is section 193. Ab now the story has changed. Ab cheeze different hoongi because now agar employer employee wala samaj aage that is guys a tough one. But now on what it's pretty easier. They are pretty easier. So let's discuss. Section 193, interest on securities. Matlab, whenever the payment is in the nature of interest on security, whenever the payment is in nature of the salary, we go to section 192. Whenever the payment is in the nature of interest on securities, we will go to section 193. Guys, here you have to focus the word which is written as interest on securities. Interest on loan is written, interest on deposits is written, securities. Securities, which interest is written? Bonds. Securities which have interest like bonds, uh, like government securities, like your 54 EC may PF or uh, uh, PF, uh, jo aapke power finance corporation ke bonds, DMAT securities, uh, wo sari securities. Securities are preferences which have interest, debentures have interest. So, securities, us wali securities, pe what interest is earned, that is tax deductible. So, who would deduct the tax? Naturally, Section 193, Interest on Security. Who will deduct the tax? Any person who is paying interest on security. So, who is the deductor? Any person who is paying interest on security. Who is the deductee? Deductee, my friends, yahan pe clearly only resident person. Only resident person. Not all type of person, only resident person. So when I am paying interest on security, 
to a resident person, I will deduct tax under section 193. When I'm paying interest on securities to a non-resident person, I will not deduct tax under 193. There can be separate section covered if there, otherwise I will not deduct. Okay, so interest on securities, section 193. When the tax has to be deducted, the time of deduction is again at the time of payment or credit, whichever is earlier. Yeah, so when interest is due, ho gaya, tab tax cut hai. suppose interest due ho gaya for the month of April to June on 30th June. Okay? Yeah, so on that date, or if I paid interest and paid it on 2nd of July. Ko. So which is earlier? 30th June is earlier. So 30th June ko tax has to be deducted. So when the due entry is done, then the tax has to be deducted. Then the tax has to be deducted. Ma'am, rate kya hai? Rate simple hai guys, 10%. Only 10% tax has to be deducted. So, so if I'm paying you interest of 1 lakh, I will deduct tax of 10,000. I will pay you net 90,000. So 10,000 would be deducted of 1 lakh. That makes the rate to be 10%. Now, one question you have mind mein hoga, ma'am. Threshold limit. आपने ये सब तो बता दिया कि ठीक है interest on security है, so we have to deduct the tax. We got it. अभी यहाँ पे भी लिख देते quickly. Oh. Uh, whether I was audible or not? I, I was audible, correct? Because all of a sudden some other notification come. Am I audible? Yes, no guys. Everybody, please let me know. Okay, okay. You are the person who is paying interest on security. Jisko mil rahe interest on securities, wo uske in general other sources mein ja sakte hain unless uska koi business uh, main securities trading ka. Okay, thank you. So, who will deduct the TDS? So, the person who is making the payment of interest on securities, that can be any person. Why I'm writing any person? That can be resident, non resident, can be a company, can be a proprietorship if they have issued securities, generally companies or government issue securities. Okay, deductee would be the resident person. Read. 10%. Threshold limit means interest you pay for if I'm paying you interest of 2,000 rupees, I will deduct the tax at the rate of 10%. Time of deduction, credit or payment, whichever is earlier. Guys, one important thing, tax rates are flat rates, no surcharge in sales has to be added. But when you are doing salary, I showed you that you have to compute the proper tax with sales and surcharge if aptly cable. Back to section 193. So interest on securities by any person, uh, the tax will be deducted if the payment is made to a resident person, the deduct tax will be deducted under section 193 at the rate of 10% at the time of credit or payment, whichever is earlier. A key line may pura chart clear over correct? But yeah, pe kuch exceptions hai. Kuch exceptions hai on which tax would not be deducted. On these the exception, the tax would not be deducted. I am writing outside the common one. And then you can compare it otherwise. Okay? Okay. On all TDS on interest and securities, 
on all interest on security tds would be deducted but no tds would be deducted in certain circumstances no tds or interest on securities yani exceptions to section 193 aa gaya ki agar even if interest on securities hai even if there is interest on securities even if it is paid by an eligible deductor still tds would not be deducted first the one is dmat securities any securities which is in dmat form no tds would be deducted on that second whenever the interest is paid to whenever the interest on security is paid to lic gic insurance companies no tds would be deducted matlab whenever the pay are lic gic insurance company guys lic gic sector is look what all the, these people do they invest the money in securities in infrastructure etc etc so securities pay naturally they will get interest naturally they will get interest but the deductor that is the payer would not deduct the tax because that is covered under exception second exception is ye jo 54 ec jo government notified uh, securities hai 54 ec wali securities 54 ec wale bonds jo power finance corporation limited infrastructure uh, इंडियन क्या था इंडियन रेल फाइनेंस कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड आईआरएफसी जो ये वाले हैं उन पे भी इंटरेस्ट आता है गाइस बॉन्ड्स में आप इन्वेस्ट करते हो फॉर फिफ्टी फोर ई सी रिमेम्बर उस पर इंटरेस्ट जनरेट होता है दोज इंटरेस्ट ऑन सिक्योरिटीज पे टैक्स वुड नॉट बी डिडक्टेड बाय द पेयर देन नेशनल डेवलपमेंट बॉन्ड्स नो इंटरेस्ट ऑन सिक्योरिटी पे टीडीएस वो नॉट बी डिडक्टेड ऑन दिस टाइप ऑफ पेमेंट अगेन देन आ गया मेरा डिबेंचर्स 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 पे टीडीएस कटेगा नेचुरली कटेगा बट बट इफ पब्लिक कंपनी हैज इश्यूड दैट डिबेंचर टू एन इंडिविजुअल एंड एच यू एफ टू अ इंडिविजुअल एंड एच यू एफ then no TDS would be deducted यहाँ पे हम एक्सेप्शन क्या पढ़ रहे हैं नो टीडीएस के नो टीडीएस वुड बी डिडक्टेड इफ इंटरेस्ट इज अप टू फाइव थाउजेंड एंड दैट टू पेड बाय अकाउंट पे चेक इंटरेस्ट इज अप टू फाइव थाउजेंड एंड दैट टू पे बाय अकाउंट पे चेक सो कैन आई से If debentures are issued by private company and they are paying interest, tax deduct will be under 193. Tax will be deductible under 193. If a public company has issued debentures to another company, tax will be deductible on interest on debentures. Yes, but if a public company has issued debentures to an individual or HUF, then in that case, if the interest is up to five thousand, no TDS would be deducted. But if the interest is more than five thousand, then the TDS would be deducted on the entire amount. on the entire amount got it clear and government securities pe tds nahi katta guys government securities pe tds nahi katta government securities koi bhi ye jo government bonds aate rehte hain from time to time on that tds is not deductible but kuch government securities pe hai on which the tds is deducted There are certain government securities on which TDS is deducted. So, a government securities ka exception hai, except eight percent saving taxable bonds, seven point seven five percent saving taxable bonds. Uspe bhi TDS tab karta hai jab interest is more than ten thousand. That when the interest is more than ten thousand. Per annum, not per transaction, per annum, per financial year, then TDS. If I have to sum up, interest on security section one ninety three covers interest on securities. So the deductor would deduct tax at the rate of ten percent when the payment is made to any resident person. But there are a lot of interest on securities which do not attract TDS, like DMAT securities, fifty four EC securities, national development bonds, or when interest is paid to LIC, GIC, insurance company, etc. a uh, public company when paying interest on securities in the form of interest on securities on debentures and paying to individual and hf then there is a ceiling limit of 
government securities have no interest but saving taxable uh, no tds sorry uh, saving taxable bonds 8% and 7.75% will attract tds if per person they are paid more than 10000 during the year got it that's it ye sari cheeze hai which you have to remember in the section 193 these five six points तो हमारा ये वाला चार्ट भी कंप्लीट हो गया साथ साथ मैं भी बना रही बिकॉज आई वांट यू टू मेक इट साथ साथ देन डोंट आस्क मैम नोट्स दे देना बिकॉज दिस इज व्हाट वी आर डूइंग टुगेदर एंड व्हाई आई एम गोइंग टू मेक यू टुगेदर ये आपको आज नहीं अच्छा लगेगा बट टू इयर्स और वन ईयर लेटर यू विल रियलाइज की नहीं दिस इज अ बेटर अप्रोच वेयर बाई वी हैव आर ओन हैंड रिटर्न नोट्स Yes, if you are the person, that's why I told her, she said, if the person, the payer is the deductor in the case, the person is making the payment, tax deducted at source, source phone, payment phone, करेगा, करेगा, source करेगा ना? So there are a lot of question guys which come in Hindi and they say, कि मैं please Hindi में बताओ, so I try because again everyone is there and ultimately you will be writing the paper in English only. To try also to relate at max in the normal language. Okay. Suti, Manohar, sab sab ko clear. Ajay, one ninety three. Me, kisi ko koi doubt? NHAI, RBC, See on any security of the central government or state government, the interest on security would not attract TDS. But, but seven point seven five percent taxable bonds and eight percent taxable bonds. Will it track TDS if the interest on such bond is more than ten thousand per financial year per person? So suppose you have gained interest on seven point seven five percent taxable bonds of nine thousand. Will I deduct tax as a payer? No. But if you have got an interest of say twelve thousand, will I deduct tax? Yes. At what rate? At ten percent of twelve thousand. Okay, now we proceed to interest other than interest on securities. Interest other than interest on securities because highly interest guys, so securities will not be able to get. Now, suppose you have given me loan, I am paying you interest. That is also an interest. Uh, you, I have uh, given you deposits. You are paying me interest on that. That is also interest. Interest can be on different different things also. Correct. Interest on income tax refund. Interest on uh, partners' capital. There can be a lot of type of interest, right? So, what sub interest can go? What sub interest will go? Section one ninety four A. Me. Security se related interest will go under one ninety four three. But interest on other than securities will go under one ninety four A. This is a very very important section. Please mark it. और अभी जो भी इसमें समझाया जाएगा प्लीज एक बार इस सब ध्यान से सुनेंगे बिकॉज इन ट्रू सेंस योर टीडीएस प्रोविजन आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस सेक्शन वाई आई विल टेल यू Quickly, right here, one ninety four A. Other than interest on say interest, other than interest on securities. 
डन क्विकली रिटर्न चलो नाउ अरे दे बहुत बारी बता दिया पेंशन हो गया कोई भी आइटम जो सैलरी में टैक्स होता है वो वन नाइनटी टू में आएगा गाइस प्लीज ज्वाइन क्लास ऑन टाइम अगेन एंड अगेन आई एम सी प्लीज केयरफुली लिसन नाउ एलिजिबल डिडक्टर Who is the deductor? Obviously, the person who is paying interest on such items, correct? But who is the eligible deductor? Any person? अभी तक मैं ये लिखती थी. Everywhere I used to write any person, but now I will write except individual and H F. So you will say कि मैम अगर individual interest pay कर रहा है, if individual is paying interest, then he does not have to deduct tax. Or if H F is paying in interest, he does not have to deduct tax. In general, yes. Any person. Except individual and HF, but individual and HF would deduct tax only, only, only if, if in the preceding year, I have written the term preceding financial year. If in the preceding financial year they have turnover of more than one crore in case of business, or gross receipts of more than fifty lakh in case of profession. What did I say? That eligible deductor who will be suppose I am paying interest to you, who uh, will I deduct tax? In general, no. But if suppose I had a business, if suppose I had a business in the preceding year, the turnover of it is more than one crore, then I will deduct the tax uh, on the interest. Otherwise, I will not deduct the tax. Ma'am, its relevance is what? Why this thing is there? Guys, this brings me back to the first thing which we understood. While we were understanding TDS, that compliances, if deductor pay, the deductor has so many compliances when it comes to TDS, deduction, deposit, return, TDS, TDS certificates. So all together, for doing all those things, he will again incur a cost, incur a cost of an accountant, incur a cost of maintaining books, etc., etc. Correct. So for them to अगर वो ये सब पे कम्प्लाइंसेस लग जाएंगे एक सैलरीड इंडिविजुअल आल्सो हैज टू डिडक्ट टैक्स ही अगेन हैज टू मेंटेन बुक्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा से राइट सो इसीलिए दे हैव ओनली कवर्ड दोज इंडिविजुअल इन एच यू एफ हु हैड अ गुड टर्न ओवर इन द प्रोसीडिंग ईयर हु हैड अ गुड प्रोफेशनल सीट्स इन द प्रोसीडिंग ईयर एंड हु कैन ओके एक करोड़ से ज्यादा का टर्न ओवर है यू कैन इनकर द एक्सपेंसिस एक्सेट्रा वी अंडरस्टैंड नो प्रॉब्लम देन यू डू द टी डेज कम्प्लाइंसेस बट ऑलरेडी When you are a small person playing at a small level, as in small person in the sense small taxpayer who does not have so much turnover, we do not want you to burden with so many compliances. That's why interest payment being one of the most common payment in daily basis transactions, we say they have excluded excluded individual in H U F who are who are not having turnover of more than one crore or gross receipts of more than fifty lakhs in case of profession. मतलब जिनका टर्न ओवर लास्ट ईयर इस साल जितना है डज नॉट मैटर डू आई टू डिडक्ट टैक्स दिस ईयर वो डिपेंड अपॉन द टर्न ओवर ऑफ द प्रीसीडिंग ईयर इफ द टर्न ओवर ऑफ द प्रीसीडिंग ईयर इज मोर देन वन करोड़ आई विल डिडक्ट टैक्स ऑन ऑल द पेमेंट्स इफ इन केस ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आई विल डिडक्ट द टैक्स ऑन ऑल द इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट इफ दे आर मोर देन थ्रेश होल्ड लिमिट राइट बट प्रीवियस ईयर माई टर्न ओवर वॉज एटी फाइव लैक्स इंटरेस्ट Other than interest on securities, pay I do not have to deduct the tax. Reason being, I already had a low turnover. TDS compliances are going to be. I would be overburdened. I would be overburdened. That's why they have excluded individual and H U F in general, and I've only included those individuals and H U F whose turnover in the preceding year is more than one crore or gross receipts is more than fifty lakhs. बहुत सारे लोग ऐसे लिखते हैं कि मैम वो इंडिविजुअल एच यू एफ टीडीएस काटेंगे जिन पे टैक्स ऑडिट लगता है those individual and chief would deduct tds on which tax or it is applicable but that is not correct that is not right that is not true to say individual and chief in the preceding year if they have a turnover of more than 10 crore or uh, 1 crore or gross receipts more than 50 lakhs then only they will deduct the tds on interest on securities salary mein aisa nahi tha salary mein simple likha hua tha employer has to deduct the tax if the salary is paid uh, is more than the basic exemption limit or salary taxable is more than the basic exemption limit correct But for interest, other than interest on securities, 
which is a common interest. You are doing business, you are paying interest. Uh, you have loans. You get interest from multiple items, right? So, this the deductor would be only individual in HUA when they have business A or profession B and business the turnover is more than 1 crore or profession the uh, gross receipt is more than 50 lakhs in the preceding financial year. My turnover is not, my business is I am a salaried individual, I will not deduct TDS ever in 194A because I am not a deductor. I am not an eligible deductor. Any payment which comes to you, first you have to see what is the type of payment, which section it attracts and whether I am an eligible deductor in that section or not. Okay? Clear? Ye cheez har jagah use hai ki in the coming section. So if you have a clarity on it, then only I'll move forward. If a person is paying tax as per 44AD, as an individual, but his turnover is more than 1 crore, he will deduct tax. He is an eligible deductor. He is liable to deduct tax. That's why simple such either you don't, you will not mix it with 44 AD or AB. You will simply see if the turnover in the preceding year is more than 1 crore. The answer is yes. I will deduct the tax or interest for whatever payments I've made in the nature of interest under section 194A. Simple. Do not need to confuse yourself with 44 AD or 44 AB. If you will tell me, ma'am, is it clear? I will move forward. Because this eligible deductor wala cheese would be used under other sections also. Okay. Interest up correct is he salme ro. You are paying interest in this year, but whether you are eligible or not, Swati, that you will see based on the turnover of the preceding year. Interest, obviously, I am talking about the payments which are made during the year. But whether I am eligible or not, that is the close of the turnover. Pe depend over. Correct. Prithuraj, a company if paying interest is an eligible deductor, a firm paying an interest is an eligible, uh, is an eligible deductor, but individual in HF would be an eligible deductor or they would be liable to deduct only if they have those turnovers. And the reason I told you, reason is compliance burden ho jayega agar sab pe tedious aise, uh, liability to deduct tax a jayegi because deductor has so many compliances. So first step is see the payment, see the sections, then see whether you are an eligible deductor or not. Second is the person to whom you are making the payment. In this case would be in this case would be so the deductive would be again any resident person. Any resident person. Deductive in this case would be guys any resident Person. So, when a person is making payment to, in the nature of interest, other than interest on securities, to any resident person, it might be liable under Section 194A. Second thing which we all see is the rate. Rate, guys, is 10%. Rate is 10%. Now, slowly you have to see the time of deduction. Ma'am, whether I have to deduct tax at the time of payment or whether I have to deduct tax at the time of credit. So it is again credit or payment, whichever is earlier. And if due pay ho gaya, to due advance payment pay ho gaya, to advance payment. Due nahi ho, advance payment pay kar di, to payment ki time pay. Credit or payment, whichever is earlier. Now we come to the threshold limit. Guys, threshold limit is again per person per pay. Per financial year. What did I say? Per person, per pay, per financial year. Every financial year may per pay. If the transaction is crossing the threshold limit, you will deduct tax. In general, the limit is 5,000. That is, there would be no TDS up to 5,000. When the interest exceeds 5,000, I have to deduct tax. 
you gave me loan for running the business i am running the business i am paying you interest if the interest is 10000 or then i will deduct tax at rate 10% if interest is 4000 i will not deduct the tax when the amount exceeds that limit you have to deduct the tax on the entire amount you have to deduct the tax on the entire amount secondly the general limit is 5000 but very important if the payer or the deductor is bank post office or cooperative bank or cooperative bank if the payer is bank post office or cooperative bank then the limit is 40000 yani when the bank is paying the interest they will deduct the tax when the interest crosses 40000 if the post office is paying the interest they will deduct the tax if the interest crosses 40000 per person similarly cooperative bank will deduct the tax when it is crossing 40000 and this limit is 50000 in case of senior citizen pay senior citizen pay matlab if the interest is paid by bank to a senior citizen the limit is 50000 to deduct tax if the interest is paid by bank to a non senior citizen and senior citizen say i mean resident senior citizen so if the interest is paid by bank to non uh, senior citizen the limit is 40000 if it is interest is paid by a company to any other person the limit is 5000 the limit is 5000 limit be clarity good done chalo are ek saath theek hai now so rate bhi clear ho gaya special limit bhi clear ho gaya time bhi clear ho gaya deducted deducted bhi clear ho gaya what are the other points ma'am we have to remember but before i go to other points let's discuss about this only जब तक थ्रेश लिमिट क्रॉस नहीं होगा टीडीएस वो नॉट बी डिडक्टेबल ठीक है नाउ सपोज मिस्टर ए गेट्स टीडीएस फ्रॉम बैंक से कोटक महिंद्रा बैंक कोटक बैंक आईसीआईसीआई बैंक एंड एयू फाइनेंस ठीक है एयू फाइनेंस बैंक जो नया आजकल है ठीक है आई कोटक बैंक इज पेइंग इंटरेस्ट ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड आईसीआईसीआई इज पेइंग इंटरेस्ट ऑफ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड एंड यू आल्सो इज पेइंग इंटरेस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वेदर टैक्स वुड बी डिडक्टेड द आंसर इज नो बिकॉज हु हैज टू डिडक्ट द टैक्स द पेयर उनका इंटरेस्ट मिस्टर ए से इज नॉट क्रॉसिंग फोर्टी थाउजेंड दे विल नॉट डिडक्ट द टैक्स ICICI bank ka interest is not crossing 15000 they will not deduct the tax similarly au finance ka uh, for 40000 is not deducting the tax similarly au finance will also not deduct the tax because the interest is not crossing 40000 mr a in general has earned the interest of more than 40000 but that does not matter deductor ko kya pata how much the deductee is earning or not deductor only sees what the transaction is happening between them correct ab deductee as in pay ko kitna interest ho raha in this case mr a ko kitna interest ho raha it does not matter so whatever interest is being paid by per person per pay during a financial year has to be seen but when i talk about suppose mr a gets interest from icici bank one branches in say delhi may uh, in uh, cp theek hai one branches is again in delhi in से करोल बाग ऑल दी ब्रांचेस आर इन डेली ऑल ठीक है एंड एन अदर ब्रांचेस इज ऑल्सो इन डेली से आई विल पिक अप द कॉमन वन से लेट्स ग्रीन पार्क ठीक है सो द इंटरेस्ट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम आईसीआईसी ओनली बट डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस ग्रीन पार्क से इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड का सीपी वाली ब्रांच से इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड का एंड करोल बाग वाली ब्रांच से भी इंटरेस्ट आ रहा है ऑफ से फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड का विल टैक्स बी डिडक्टेबल द आंसर इज यस सी बी एस एक सेंट्रलाइज कंप्यूटराइज बैंकिंग सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज सेंट्रलाइज बैंकिंग सॉफ्टवेयर नाउ तो आईसीआईसीआई बैंक हैज बीन पेइंग इंटरेस्ट टू मिस्टर ए इवन इफ फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ब्रांच दैट 
the entire limit would be considered the entire limit would be considered or the entire transaction from different branches would be considered for seeing whether the threshold limit is getting crossed or not to see whether the threshold limit is getting crossed or not now since here the threshold limit is more than uh, it obviously getting crossed because the interest is 50000 so they will deduct the tds at the rate of 10% which is 5000 got it so the limit is per bank not per branch different branches of one bank will consider the limit in total but different banks obviously are different pay payers okay now when the tds has to be deducted now suppose suppose company Sorry, let's say it like bank only. 40, 50,000 kilometers each other. Bank is paying interest every quarter to Mr. A. Okay. First quarter may they paid the interest of 10,000. Will the tax would be deducted? The answer is no because it has not crossed 40,000. Second quarter may they paid the interest of 12,000. Will the tax would be deducted? Abhi? No, because 40,000 abhi the cross nahi hua. Third May they paid the interest of again 12,000. Will they deduct the tax? No, because 10 plus 12, 22 plus 12, 34. Now, fourth quarter may they paid the interest of 10,000. Now, yaha pay 40,000 ho gaya, correct? The threshold limit cost 40,000. The TDS would be deducted here. So, 44,000 pay. TDS at the rate of 10% would be deducted, 4,400. And so, 10,000 minus 4,400 would get credited in the account. Okay? Simple. Got it? No doubt? No doubt. But ma'am, what are the exceptions? Kab TDS nahi katega? What are the exceptions when the TDS would not be deducted? Again, I'm writing at the side so that you can read. And then we can merge it up. No TDS would be deducted exceptions. No TDS would be deducted most important on saving bank interest. So, here is the he finished. That means if the bank is saving bank interest, de rahe, that would not be considered for the limit of 40,000 because that is not tax deductible. But bank paying interest on FD and RD. Bank paying interest on FD or RD, fixed deposit or recurring deposit interest, that is tax deductible, but no interest on saving bank, no TDS on saving bank interest. Okay? No TDS on income tax refunds. This FD or RD pay guys interest pay TDS katega. Or wo hi 40, 50,000 ki limit mein get. No TDS on income tax refund ka interest. Income tax refund. Uspe TDS nahi katega. No TDS on partnership interest. Why am I writing again, again? No TDS. No TDS on partnership interest. Partnership interest, capital interest on capital pay uh, firm gives to the partner. No tax would be deducted on that. Then, uh, no TDS on common one. Okay. No TDS on. Zero coupon bonds. Zero coupon bonds are short term means wo issued at discount, redeem it at par. Okay, uspe no TDS would be deductible. Similarly, no TDS would be deducted if interest is paid to bank. Please write it carefully. Bank, cooperative bank, financial corporations, LIC. UTIs. Ma'am, kya matlab? Bank jab humko interest pay karega. When the bank is paying interest to us, they will deduct the TDS if the interest is crossed uh, 40,000 or 50,000 while I'm part, as the case may be. But when we are paying interest to bank, we will not deduct the TDS. Ma'am, kaise? I went and got fixed deposit with 
bank they will deduct the tds if the interest is crossing 40000 but suppose i have taken loan from bank i will pay the interest correct i will pay the interest but i will not deduct the tds on there loan pay jo emi pay interest component hote hain i will not deduct tds why because they are covered under the exception this is the reason that's why when people take loan from bank they are not deducting the tds because naturally interest is more than 40000 but since this is being paid to bank corporate is bank financial corporations lic utis no tds would be deducted but if you are paying interest to nbfcs you have to deduct the tds so nbfcs are not covered under exception and the last point कुछ इज इन रिलेशन टू कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी वो मैं यहीं लिख के बता देती हूँ कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटीज और कॉपरेटिव बैंक्स पेइंग इंटरेस्ट टू कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटीज नो टी डी रिक्वायर्ड Paying interest to cooperative societies, no TDS is deductible on that interest. Similarly, cooperative societies paying to the co another cooperative society any interest, they will not deduct the TDS. Or paying cooperative society paying interest to their members, they will not deduct the TDS. They will not deduct the TDS, but. Cooperative society paying interest to another cooperative society or to its member, no TDS is deducted. But guys, if the turnover of this cooperative society is more than fifty crores, the turnover of this cooperative society is more than fifty crore and interest is more than forty thousand per annum. then tds would be deducted then tds would be deducted theek okay, hai so then tax at source is uh, tax deduction at source is required to be done simple so these are all the exceptions in general which you can understand language book mein thoda sa aise likha hoga maine straight forward padhaya so you don't have to worry about it so if i complete the chart here again deductor any person except individual in hf yahan pe thoda sa ganda handwriting hai guys and individual in hf would only be covered if in the preceding year their turnover is more than 1 crore in case of business or gross receipts is more than 50 lakhs in case of profession deducting any resident person rate is 10% Lim time of deduction credit or payment whichever is earlier threshold limit guys general 5000 but when payment uh, is made to a uh, payment is made by bank cooperative bank or your post office limit is 40000 more exceeds 40000 or exceeds 50000 in case of resident senior citizen simple or other points mein we have discussed this that no tds would be deducted on interest of saving banks on interest of income tax refund interest of partnership zero coupon bonds interest paid to banks cooperative banks financial corporations lic utis nbfcs so if you are paying interest you would deduct the tax cooperative bank paying to cooperative society no tds cooperative society paying to another cooperative society or to its member no tds but agar cooperative society ka turnover is more than 50 crores and interest is paid Is more than forty thousand per month, uh, forty thousand per annum. TDS would be deducted. So that's it for today. We would not start with another new section, which is one ninety four C, which is extremely critical section. So we have covered uh, for the first half an hour. We understood, or more than that, we understood the concept of these mechanism and what is TDS, how the mechanism works, along with the journal entries passed. Then we did section one ninety two in details, along with. the computation example then we did section 193 
and section 194A. Does anyone has any doubt? Correct, Divya, absolutely freezing. ये जो पॉइंट्स लिखे हैं आप साइड पे लिख सकते हो सो दैट इट कैन बी इजी चार्ट हम साथ साथ बना रहे हैं एंड एनी वन हैज एनी डाउट इट्स लवली नो वन हैज एनी डाउट प्लीज डू द इलेस्ट्रेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड एग्जांपल्स इन द क्लास रिमेंबर आपको वेन एवर यूर डिडक्टिंग टैक्स यू हैव टू सी योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ डिडक्टर यू डू नॉट नो हाउ मच दर पर्सन इज गेटिंग द इंटरेस्ट ऑल यू केयर इज पर पर्सन इज दैट इंटरेस्ट इज क्रॉसिंग और नॉट ये क्रॉस एंटायर अमाउंट भी टीडीएस हैज टू बी डिडक्टेड इन जनरल कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी अगर मेंबर्स को इंटरेस्ट देती है दे डोंट हैव टू डिडक्ट टैक्स बट कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी दूसरी कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटीज को इंटरेस्ट देती है दे डोंट हैव टू डिडक्ट टैक्स बट अगर मेंबर अगर कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी हैज अ टर्न ऑफ मोर देन फिफ्टी करोर्स इन द प्रीसीडिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर नेचुरली एंड द इंटरेस्ट पेड इज मोर देन फोर्टी और फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एज द केस मे बी देन दे विल डिडक्ट द टैक्स अदरवाइज दे विल नॉट डिडक्ट द टैक्स इसमें दो तीन और एस्पेक्ट्स हैं यू कैन कवर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वाले और एक्सीडेंटल uh, क्लेम्स वाले वो जनरली आते नहीं है यू कैन दो डीड देम ओके पेपर में नहीं आते पेपर में ये बैंक्स uh, वाला बहुत ज्यादा आता है विच वी हैव कवर्ड ठीक है गाइस सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास भक्ति जस्ट ट्राई टू डू इट आई नो यू विल बी एबल टू डू इट ऑल्टरनेटिवली वाला अप्रोच छोड़ के ट्राई टू डू इट यू विल गेट इट इफ नॉट वील डू अगेन ठीक है बिकॉज इसमें कुछ अपने आप को प्लीज डरो मत फर्स्ट ट्राई अटेम्प्ट इट सिंपल है ग्रोथी थाउजेंडी के एट फिफ्टी का सैलरी हो गया फिफ्टी थाउजेंड स्टैंडर्ड रक्शन लगा के एट लैख पे By default regime, tax liability comes to seventy five four hundred. So seventy five four hundred per tax has to be deducted. Uh, sorry, salary versus seventy five thousand four hundred tax has to be deducted, and that will be deducted. If divided by twelve, hai, uh, every month so and so amount. They have percentage out of it. One and then total salary will be nine point four two five percent. You will do simple seventy five uh, seventy five four hundred per divided by twelve. So every month this much tax has to be deducted. Alternative approach for don't take it up. ठीक है सो सी यू नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑन ट्यूजडे एंड प्लीज प्लीज कम रिवाइज थर्ली विद द टीडीएस प्रोविजन सेक्शन बिकॉज नेक्स्ट क्लास में वील बी डूइंग मेजर सेक्शन ऑफ टीडीएस द वन विच आर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है सेशुअल लिमिट एज सच मनोहर कोई लिमिट नहीं है वन नाइनटी थ्री में एक्सेप्ट डिबेंचर्स वाले केस में If paid to individual, then there is a limit, and except that uh, taxable saving bonds, then there is a limit of ten thousand, and the benches वाले के केस में the limit is five thousand. ठीक है. Otherwise, in general, there is no limit. नेक्स्ट क्लास में प्लीज डू थर्ली रीड एंड कम एंड देन वी प्रोसीड विद वन नाइनटी फोर सी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर है डेफिनेटली क्वेश्चन कम्स फ्रॉम फाइव टू टेन मार्क्स सो डोंट स्किप दिस चैप्टर एट ऑल थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द बेस्ट टू एवरीवन हैव अ ग्रेट ग्रेट डे बाय बाय